Okay, okay I'm going to run you through the, the four basic parts of the stroke. Okay? Your sitting position. I want you to sit preferably both legs forward. If you want to lock one leg back, I'm not going to be a Nazi about it, but I want you to be able to get some rotation through your hips. You will be using your legs a lot during this paddle session, so make sure you've got the ability to push off this leg. Okay? Lots of what we do in dragon boating is driven through the hips. Okay, the first part of the stroke is called the catch. Bring your top hand high over the gunnel, okay? The blade goes in at approximately 45 degree angle. You're rotating, so you're rotating this bottom shoulder forward, top shoulder back. Where you're looking, your head is looking up, down the boat. You're not looking down here, looking up. You come forward. Now I don't want you to overextend on your catch. So you don't want to be out here. You want a nice, solid triangle. You're coming in, and you're planting your blade like so. So that is your catch position before you do anything else. Okay? You can see I'm not overextending, I'm not bending too far forward. I've got a nice strong triangle between my bottom hand, my top hand, and my low back. So that's my catch position. <coughs> One of the key things to note is I've got the whole of the blade in the water. A very common novice mistake is you come in and you start your, your stroke here. You do, and you don't bury the hold of the, the blade. You want to get it fully in. So that's your catch position. The next part of the stroke is the power phase of the stroke. The power phase of the stroke is very short and very explosive. You originate it from your lead leg. Rotate through your hip, come in, bang. Everything drives through the leg, hip, <coughs> core. You're using your big muscles, not your arms. These are weak, this is strong. So you're coming in, explosive catch. You want to feel like the blade's pulling on concrete. So you want a nice 45 degree angle, in, 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 and then pull from there. Once again, you don't want to start your power phase too early. So you don't want to be here and then start to pull. You want to be in first and then pull. As you can see, my bottom arm is straight. I'm not too worried about locking it out. You can have a little bit of bend at the elbow. In, bang. What I'm more worried about is your exit. The power phase is very short, it's about that long. Once you're past here, you've got to start your exit phase. Any further back, and once again, the classic novice mistake is to come back too far, any further back is wasted energy. You're not getting any more forward momentum from that part of your stroke. So you come in, bang, you can see, as soon as my bottom arm is starting to break and my, this hand is in front of my knee, I'm going to start my exit, which is the third part of the stroke. So my exit is just straight up with my top hand and it's got to be snappy. If you imagine 22 paddlers coming back like so and just leaving the blade in the water a little bit too long, that's creating a lot of drag. So in order to get the good glide, in order to get the boat moving quick, we have to work on snappy exits, getting those blades out. So you come in, back, snappy exit, bang, straight on out. That's the third part of the stroke, the exit. Once again, top hand remains relatively high and you're looking to come back forward for the last part of your stroke, which is called the recovery. For the recovery, the key thing to note is not to lift the blade up too high. Lots of people come up here and out here and like in like this. 
you want to keep the bottom of your blade close to the water. It's coming through, it's almost not leaving the water at all. Okay, and we will do some drills to practice that. Back forward, the most efficient way forward, straight line back in, back to your catch. Okay, 